Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about Charles Proxy and how you can use this little tool to keep track of your network traffic when you're using a mobile device. As the name suggests, the Charles Proxy is a proxy, so it sits between your device and the internet or a service or an app, whatever it is that you're working with, and keeps track of all the network traffic. So your requests and their responses. So this is really helpful for developers when they have a bug that is related to network activity. You can attach these logs that Charles records and help them debug the problem. So first thing we need to do is go to charlesproxy.com and download whatever version of operating system you have. Just select it here and download it and go ahead and install. Once you have it installed, just go to Charles and run it. Your screen will look something like this when you first load. So what we need to do is go up here to proxy and proxy settings. And we need to make a note of the proxy number right here. So in my case, 8888 is my proxy. So we're just going to keep track of that for right now. The next thing we need to do is get the IP address of the network that we're on. So some people might be tempted to go over to Google and just search for what is my IP and then use that IP address right there. That's actually not what you want. That is the IP address of the computer you're working on. You need the IP address of your network. So what we need to do is open up a command prompt and then type in the command IP config. And then up at the top, we're looking for this IPv4 address, so this 192 number. That's the IP address of my network. So once we have those two values, what we can do is open up our device. So we'll start with an iPhone first here, and then we're going to go to settings and select Wi-Fi, and select our network, and scroll down here to the bottom and select manual. And then we're going to enter the server, the IP address we just found, and the port. So now we've entered in the server IP address and the port number. We can just go back up here and tap Wi-Fi, and then back to settings. And we can then go over to, go over to Safari. And then you'll see over here on the left, different actions will be recorded. So we'll just search for uTest. And a bunch of stuff will start coming back. I'm going to select this result. And so here's all of our network traffic that's being logged. All the different pieces of code or files are being downloaded. So once we have all of this, all we have to do is go up here to save, and that'll save our logs here. Now, if you're using a Windows 8 device, what you need to do is go to your Internet Options window. and then go to connections and click on LAN settings and yours will probably look something like this but what you want to do is uncheck this top checkbox and check this bottom one and then enter in your IP address here and the port number here. Mine are grayed out because I have Charles Proxy running so that's controlling my these fields but yours should be available to you if you have this on if you have the proxy running on one laptop or desktop and then you configure your proxy server settings over on your Windows 8 device. So that should get you started. Good luck.